Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tara and I make skincare products here on my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and go check out all the other videos I've posted on my channel because I have so many videos, so many recipes. Go check that out. So today I'm going to be making a really simple body wash. It's going to include very minimal ingredients. So it's perfect for beginners. And this body wash is clear as well. So you can see completely through it and it has amazing lather. So let's get into it. We are gonna start out with the first phase, which is phase A. And I'm gonna be using a really large beaker. This is a 2000 milliliter beaker because I'm making a 1,500 gram batch. And you're gonna want to grab a respirator. It's what I'm holding up on the screen here. I will link it down in the description box where you guys can find it because we're gonna be working with sodium cocal isothionate. We're gonna be adding in 90 grams of this stuff. You don't wanna breathe this in, so make sure you're wearing a respirator, not just a regular cloth mask, it needs to be a respirator. And this powder is what's going to be creating the lather in the body wash and cleansing your skin. And I'm gonna be mixing it with 450 grams of cocomutyl propyl betaine. This is a, another surfactant that is going to help create lather and foam and cleanse the skin. The sodium cocal isothionate is anionic and the cocomutyl propyl betaine is amphoteric. If you would like to learn more about anionic and amphoteric surfactants, you can go watch my video all about surfactants. I'll have it linked down in the description box. Then you're gonna to want to heat up phase A. And we're gonna do this by taking a pan and filling it with enough water to cover the phase A in the beaker and we're going to put on about medium high heat and we're going to come back periodically and mix it to help dissolve all the sodium cocal isothionate. So what will happen is these two ingredients will combine and kind of become like gunky so you really have to like make sure the SCI is dissolved by looking at it even though it becomes slimy. You'll see. Anyways, we're gonna move on to phase B in the meantime, and I'm gonna add in 787.5 grams of distilled water into this 1000 milliliter glass beaker. And then I'm gonna add in 7.5 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus. This is the preservative, and this is the best preservative for beginners. Now, I also am supposed to add in glycerin here, but for some reason I completely forgot. I don't know, you'll see me later add it in, but add the glycerin in there. Anyways, we're gonna go back to phase A. And remember, like I said, it ended up being like a slimy gunk. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You need to make sure all of the SCI chunks in it are completely dissolved. Make sure you don't see any pellets of it in there, any like powder clumps, nothing. Make sure it's all gone. All right, then you want to let it return to like 100 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. You just don't want it to be too hot since we have the preservative in phase B already. Um, but you can just go ahead and pour phase B into phase A. And it will be just a big glob in water and you'll have to like mix it to help dissolve it. You don't really have to do too much mixing, just kind of mix, walk away, come back, mix again. And you're gonna have to let it sit overnight for phase A to completely dissolve into phase B. This can take a while, especially if you're making a larger batch like me, you're definitely gonna have to let it sit overnight. So I just cover it with some plastic wrap. Sorry, I forgot what it was called. And yeah, just let it sit overnight. Now here we are the next day and see exactly what I didn't want to happen happened. All the SCI wasn't dissolved. And you know what? I knew it. I seen there was chunks in there and I was like, you know what? This will be fine. They'll just dissolve in the water. No, I was wrong. So I just sit there and try to like smush them all. And that didn't really end up working. So I ended up heating it up a little bit. I didn't get it too hot that it would just destabilize my preservative, but I did heat it up a little bit and that helped get rid of them. What you can do to make sure this doesn't happen to you is to actually weigh out the distilled water separately, heat that up too, and then add that into phase A first before adding in the preservative and glycerin. You can do it the same way as me, but for extra precaution, heat up the distilled water and then add the Liquid Dermal Plus after it cools. Now what I can do is add in the 150 grams of glycerin 
that I, for some reason, completely forgot to weigh out and add in. And the only reason I knew I forgot it is because I started editing this video the day I made it when I had to let it sit overnight and I realized I didn't add in the glycerin. That's the only reason I remembered. So awesome. Anyways, I just added in the glycerin and I'm mixing it in. And now it's time to check and adjust the pH. So I'm taking a 25 milliliter glass beaker, adding in a little bit of the body wash. I'm going to take my pH meter. And this pH meter is an expensive pH meter. I do recommend it if you're more serious about formulating, but if you're a beginner just starting out, you can get a really cheap pH meter on Amazon for like less than $30. But anyways, go ahead and take your pH meter and dip it into your body wash, turn it on, take the pH, and the pH of this body wash is right around five, which is perfect. Our skin's natural pH is between 4.5 and 5.5 so we want our product somewhere between there it's perfect we don't have to adjust it so now we can move on to the next step if you want to learn more about ph go watch my video all about ph i will have it linked in the description box now if you want to add in fragrance you can go ahead and add in your 15 grams of fragrance oil into your product but what i'm going to do is actually divide it up into five different beakers i believe and then add in fragrance into half of them and then no fragrance into the other half because I do want to do like a little experiment and see if any of the fragrance oils I use affects the like the transparency because all these body washes are clear but sometimes fragrance oils can do strange things like maybe it can affect the uh, the clearness of a product so that's kind of just what I'm doing here basically you want to make sure you do one gram of fragrance oil to every 99 grams of body wash. So if you want to make like a master batch of this body wash like I did and then like divide it up into sections. Yeah, you're going to want to do one gram of fragrance oil per 99 grams of body wash. But now that I have it all divided up, I'm going to go ahead and take these water soluble dyes, add in just a couple drops mix it in and bam there you go you got these really bright vivid beautiful colors i'm obsessed with these water soluble dyes i will have all these linked in the description box So now it's time to fill my bottles. I am using these eight ounce plastic bottles. I'll link to some bottles similar over on Amazon. These are eight ounce bottles, but they end up holding like 250, 260 grams of body wash. So they do end up holding more than eight ounces. So the first day, some of the body washes aren't completely clear. I did notice it was the ones with fragrance oils. Those ones weren't clear. So I was thinking, you know, we weren't going to have clear ones. But look, after like a, over a week later, because I went on vacation, they cleared up. Amazing. So now I'm going to be taking these labels I made. They are clear labels. They are waterproof, oilproof, and scratch resistant. I have a video all about how I make these clear labels and how I make labels with like a white background, just like normal looking labels. I show how to make both of these labels in that video. So go watch that video if you want to learn how to make these labels. And yeah, that is about it for these body washes and how to make them. Let me know which color is your favorite down in the comments. My favorite, it's the pink and the blue one. I'm sure you guys aren't surprised. But these body washes have amazing lather to them. They are, they kind of have like a, not a thick viscosity but a thinner viscosity but still like thick enough to hold in your hand I normally make things really thick like my body washes and face washes and you guys end up commenting that they're really thick so I made this kind of like a normal medium viscosity and I didn't want to have to add in thickeners I just wanted it to be like naturally have a natural viscosity I don't know if that makes sense but yeah it lathers up amazingly I think you guys will love it this is the formula this is the 1500 gram batch recipe. Hope you guys like it. You can also sign up on my Patreon and get this video in blog form and then get a 
PDF file that you can download and print out to have the actual like recipe in your fingertips, you know, and you get two bonus videos every single month. So like exclusive recipes, sometimes they aren't recipes, sometimes they're like experiment videos, but most of the time they're exclusive recipes. So go check out my Patreon. Lots is going on over there. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'll TTYL. Some music and find someone to listen